Hello, this is Lover of Ladies, and welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, so I can definitely swing by Lizzie's bar between 6 and 6 a.m. So let me see what I can do from here. I feel like when it comes to leveling up and doing skill points and things of that nature, at first the layout is a little bit intimidating to deal with, especially if you don't know how to do the skill trees, but after a while it does get easier to maneuver. But other than that, I feel like it's too much skill trees to manage and when you do press on the individual skill trees it's like okay more stuff for me to pick and choose on top of that so I feel like maybe if they had less options it would be a lot easier for me to maneuver and actually focus more on how to custom my character skills. Honestly though, while I go and wait, let me call this agency what she's about. Uh why not? Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nah, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal. Fine. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. All right. Sweet. Honestly, even with the new update, I don't see a difference at all. There are times where the details are a little bit fuzzy, if you can actually see on your end, but I definitely see on my end. And I don't see any crazy glitches as of yet. I know on the last video, I did notice random characters popping out but so far for this episode I haven't seen any crazy glitches oh shit I'm here all right let's go this should be good look lively Meredith stout take it you were the one to call yeah, I did actually, so what's good? Can I not talk? That'd be oh shit! Oh fuck! Great. Thought you could blackmail me, bitch? Set conditions? Wow. Got any more for me? Calm the fuck down. I just want to talk. Really? Wow, that's fucked up. Shut your trap. That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions, honestly, forthrightly. Are you here alone? Yep. <clears throat> Just little old me. It's the truth. Do a sweep now. A sweep of what? Wow. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist. Is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? No. That guy? Never seen him before. Checks out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. Yeah, man. Like, come I fuck down. You. I fucking told you. I'm not the mole. Jesus Christ. Shut him up. Unhand me now before I Her you can let go. I hear a 
Finally, shit, bro. Really? Couldn't have been chill from the start. Shut the fuck up. Tell me what you want. Hmm. You know, I could help patch the gaps in your convoy security. Prevent a repeat of this fiasco. Nope, not interested. Let's hear your offer. Hmm. I don't have all day. Whatever then. I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point a finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force, but they're expecting payment, so I could go that route too. Fine, the latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. Oh, okay. Bet. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. All right, not bad. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. All right. I'll see you soon too. You're making a mistake. This cunt's already good as dead. And she'll take you down with her. Wow, that is insane. I mean. <sighs> I know I should have went with Jackie just in case, but I decided to be reckless and go by myself. Paid off though. All right, my boy Jackie. Let's see what he has to say. There you are. Hey, buddy. That an arch? Ah, damn! What a view. Yeah, got her cheap too. Dorset job dividend. Huh. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even used. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeño. Okay, I guess. Totally worth it. T-Bug show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long? My mother always said patience pays off, so... Hmm. <laughs> I wish I was patient. Like, I can't really relate, but... Okay, so if T-Bug has been working with Dex in the past, then it could be that he's... Not too bad, but I don't know. So, Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Eww. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. New scheme yet? You got a plan? Militech and me, we found some common ground. Mm hmm They're footing the bill for the bot. There's a lot of scratch to toss away. I know. Forget it, Jack. It'll be like we never had it in the first place. Anyway, who knows how this deal's gonna shake out. So, into the board beast den. Let's go see these bastards. Hell yeah. All right. Let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. Uh, all right. Let's see how it goes. Fuckers. Had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I think the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. They know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. Maelstrom, you just never know. Hmm, sounds like unpredictable bastards. Alright, let's go. Let them know we're here. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Holy cow. Okay. Crazy. It's a whole bunch of stuff here. Get in the elevator, fucking sheep. Fuck you too, bitch. Just trying to spook us. Oh lord, I would have failed already. Turf. 
Okay, okay. Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. You'll deal with me. Of course. You got a bot. Model MT0 D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid Brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Thanks, Tum Tum. Now, couch. Planning. Okay, but. All right, dum dum. Hopefully, your your name doesn't give me any clues as to how it'll go from here. Well, shit. Goes for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard. Fucking ass on the fucking couch. Make me. Thought you never ask. Jackie. See your ass down for a Jack. Sit down. Come on, man. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Thank you, bro. Well, all right. Come on. Got lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? This geef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on. Give it a whirl. I'll pass, buddy. Thank you, though. Anyways. Whatever you say, strange princess. Hmm. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, but yep, open it up. Gotta make sure it's legit. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimp down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. Damn. Watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. What you think? Yep, we'll take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid off. Brick got it. <laughs> Are you kidding, bro? Fucking bastard. Right. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Relax. Got him right here. Just like that. Without that in the fucking eye. <laughs> want it or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Why does it matter? That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica. <laughs> he ain't dead. No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So I'm gonna consider my offer now. Hmm? Hurry up! You know what? Next. Fucking brutals. Shit. Oh shit. I am not used to shooting. Okay. You know what? I'm done. Move. Anyways. 
Grab the gear. Bot and control shot. Quick. Yeah, say no more. I got it. Got the set. Bot and controller. Oh lord. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. But fuck it. Yeah, let's go. Cause he pissed me off completely, trying to make me pay twice. Fuck you, bro. Bye. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like I said, the the gun mechanics are a little bit awkward for me. But then again, it's been a while since I actually played this game, so I just gotta get used to it again. That's all. Shit. Next. Who else do I need to sh shoot? Hey, come here. There you go. I mean... I just simply wanted to pay with someone else's money. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it is actually. What's up? Bet you didn't expect to see me here. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of did. I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Be more than glad to. Till next time, then, V. Corporate gods willing. Okay, I'll see oh, you. Thought about what you said about convoys, transport security, your offer. We're just not interested. No problem. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Makita. Yeah, let's go, bro. Come on. Holy shit, v. Are sure we walk out in one piece? You and me both, Jackie. Especially since he pulled a gun on us. You really think I was gonna, like, not do anything about that? Like, <laughs> come mierda. I think we're done. That's it. Yeah. I had enough for one day. Let Dex know we got his toy for him. And Fatso ought to crack open a bottle for us after what we did for him today. Yeah, I know. Ahí luego, v. I'll see you, hon. How things looking, Miss V? Got the buff. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech game? Sure. Of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't give in two shits that you and Brick had shaken off. How'd you get him on board? You use the corpo woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch for Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. Hell yeah. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Mm. Not yeah. just. Maybe use violence. You got some balls, Miss B. Yeah, I know. What about the meet with Evelyn Parker? I'm about to do that. That meet's the only thing that'll get you a chance at grabbing that chip. Parker will be waiting for you at Lizzie's bar. Good luck. Okay, I am here. So, let's see what this Evelyn Parker is about. This place looks nice. Very 80s, too. Oh. Hey there, doll face. Mm -hmm. Interested in a cream BD? Uh, yeah. Sure. In I go. Hold it. House rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, doll. 
Welcome to Lizzie's. Thank you. Appreciate you. Okay, here I go. Wow, this feels nice. So real. Okay. Anyways. My, what a sweet little face you have. Uh, I'm not used to being complimented or flirted. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh wow, this club is pretty interesting. Okay, so in this case, mm, you see what I mean? Look, it's pixelated, and then it once it loads, that's when you see the details. Hey, hey yo, this is crazy. Get you something. So curious, the name Lizzie's. That the owner? Not for a long while, no. It's not too sweet a story. Oh, now I'm just flat interested. No, I think. Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, insured, and had decent security. Good spot all in all. What happened? Yes, it didn't last. No, Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad one. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. This was done. Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their hands organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. It's a science statement, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. Looking for so Evelyn was... Parker. Yeah, it was Evelyn. Did you see her? Who's asking? Uh, me? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm a Dale. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Yeah. Love's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. Come Hi, on. You're Evelyn? Hey, yo. Um. You're really pretty. I mean, <clears throat> you're really pretty. So, um, damn, am I that obvious? Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. And like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Oh shit! Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. Okay, but say no we'll more. Lounge, Anyone asks, we're not here. So it's good. What do you got for me, bro? I'm all ears. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. No idea if Dex exaggerates. A little, a lot. You got me. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Yeah. What do you mean? They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Yeah, what's Your good? target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? 
no, actually. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? No. I couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr. is planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? You know it. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Yeah, girl, spill. This should make your tits perk up. Mm. Yori Nobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? No, I got it. I got Fine. it. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. So, what is on this One relic? Data that's on the chip. What is it? Yeah. Irrelevant. Entirely. Hmm. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. That sounds pretty damn relevant to me. And I'm risking my ass for it. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Hmm. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. What? I think BDs are only good for fondling. I do not want to. I don't want that. Off to in those boxes. No. It can be a very useful like tool. Like anything else. Good for yeah, analyzing yeah, details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't uh, grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, so, how did you- Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You, uh, know each other? Yeah. How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We mm -hmm. have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's right. see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. Okay. V, this is important. What? Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But I she's a mox. Not the latest member of your yeah. crew. Sorry, Try not I to didn't forget. To. So I'll you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Oh god. I feel funny stuff when she said be a good girl. <sighs> I'm done. Okay, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.